In this video, I will continue refactoring existing tests to show how I would write them. We're gonna look at customer spec and it has a bunch of tests and we'll deal with some of the tests later. But in this video, I wanna show how I would write this test that checks different viewports and make sure that the website works on iPad, iPhone or Samsung resolutions. Uh, these names, iPad 2, iPad mini, Samsung S10, these are viewports and they come from Cypress. And you can use Cy viewport command to set a particular viewport so that your app is tested in different resolution. Notice we are generating four tests dynamically from an array. We take each viewport preset and we're creating a separate test just for that viewport. You can do that, that's totally fine. But if you're using data generated tests a lot, then I have a surprise for you. So why don't we take this particular test and move it into its own spec file. So I'll call it viewports and we're just gonna copy paste this and we're gonna remove this block from this spec and we don't need that. And let's just make sure that it's running first. Oh, let me just restart it. Something went wrong. Let me reset the project. Okay, open Cypress again. Start testing using Electron. And let's oh, click on Viewports. And we can see four different tests. And you can see how Viewport is different between the test from wider iPad to mobile phone resolution. Great. We don't need any of these helpers and here's what I will do. I will install a plugin called Cypress Each. And in the spec where I want to generate tests dynamically from an array data, I will just import Cypress Each plugin. And right now it looks exactly the same. But what we can do now is say, instead of for each doing it ourselves, we can say, okay, so these are the viewports, right? And we don't need this at all. And we can say viewport preset and array, perfect. All right, and instead of doing it ourselves, right, we can do it.each. So this each method comes from Cypress each plugin. It wraps the existing global it or describe and allows you to call each. And the first thing you need to do pass the data and then everything else goes into a callback where you can provide a parameter for the title. It could be a function, but in our case, it's a uh, string. And instead of temp literal, I think you can just do S and each item from this data list will be passed into the callback. So here it will be preset and it will be viewport preset. It's the same. Right, we are seeing the same test titles because the placeholders will be replaced with the data uh, from this array one by one. The value will be passed to the callback, so that's great, and you can use it to run the commands. And I think this is pretty much it. Um, you might also notice that we are visiting the site before we set the viewport, we don't need this anymore. And just like I said, I recommend using. Uh, something like a slash instead of empty string. And we are running all data-driven tests one by one. So you can get this plugin at my account Cypress each.